All right, so we're doing the uh, 0411 swap on this uh, 96 SS. Um, I've already taken the stock PCM out, and then I started taking these little clips off right here. And then before I started doing that, I was like, hmm, maybe I should mark them. So got me a permanent marker. I'm gonna mark it black, blue, red, clear. And I'm gonna take all these little caps off right here. And so when I do this, I'm gonna just go down the list on the blue ones. It'll be, look nice and neat. I'll do the blue, um, the blue side first, and then I'm gonna do the red side on the uh, 0411 swap. It's pretty easy. Um, let me set this camera up and I'll show you. Okay, so um, I'm gonna take my marker here. This one's black, and I know that, and this one's the blue one, so I'm gonna put uh, black. L-A-C-K, doesn't have to be perfect. Whatever, they're gonna come on off anyway. Blue, <laughs> red, and then clear. Okay, so got that taken care of right here. And then to take these pins out and these sides, you just kinda, kinda pry these open right here. We got these little tabs. And then I'll just show you again on this one. I'll just, nah. Okay, so I'll just show you on this one. So this red one, you take your pick, press this little side right here. Same thing on this side and kind of push up with your fingers. Boom, comes right off. Same thing with the clear and all the rest of them. They're all the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look on my phone at the 0411 schematic here. Okay, so we're gonna take the first one. We're gonna we're gonna work on the blue connector first. So I'm gonna have to take um, pin number one out of the red connector, and it goes to blue twelve. Okay, so red connector pin number one, and they have all these numbers on the back side right here. So you're gonna have to. It's actually probably best to take this little red thing out too, so you can fold up the other half there. Take all those out. And again, these connectors are not gonna be used anymore. Okay, so the red connector, this one. Okay, pin number one, which I believe is this yellow wire right here, and it's for the crank sensor. So I'm gonna take my pick right here. I'm gonna wiggle it just a little bit like that. See how it just came right out? Pulls right out, just like that, boom. And then it goes uh, pin 12 on the blue one. So like that right there. You push it all the way through just like that and it comes up and you see it lock in like that so it won't come out now so i'm going to take this one out because i actually have to take some of this harness apart right here um it's not long enough so i'm gonna i'm gonna take some of this electrical tape off right here and then i'm gonna go ahead and uh get it all frayed open and stuff and then uh i'll have some more length right here and then i'll tape it all up when i'm done so just do that rinse and repeat um I'll come back about halfway through the process here and then uh, I'll show you how far I've gone along with it and uh, we'll just go from uh, there. One thing before um, I get really too far in this, I kind of noticed too, um, don't use a razor blade uh, cutting that old um, electrical tape off. It just it really just breaks off pretty easily if you just kind of grab that wire and kind of pull it. And then, I mean, it's just really coming off in pieces. I mean, it's, this car, it's a 96, so it's uh this stuff's pretty old you're not going to really break these wires but it's better than um cutting a wire and having a short or something that and then you, you have to really retrace it all and you have you're running the trouble like that so just kind of a fair warning on that just it comes apart pretty easy so this is what i mean by fraying it apart though just kind of getting all the wires separated and then like i said afterwards we're actually going to electrical tape it up and put it back in this factory loom let's see Black number five, blue 37. Let's see, 37, 37. All right, chill. Let's push it in, kind of click and then tug and they should sit flush like that. Okay, I'm just really going on the list on the blue stuff. I'm not even paying attention to, you know my password now, cool, okay. Uh, number six is gonna be the next one. It's still on the blue one. So that's gonna be 44 and it is red I just usually make sure it is the same color. So this is red and black It's pin five I believe 
Or six, yep, pin six. Yep, pulling out a pin six. Just making sure. Make sure you guys are paying attention. Okay, and then it goes to, um, let's see, uh, 44. Okay. And then it's on the bottom row right here. Let's see, 44, boom. And if you follow these steps right here and just keep chugging along, you will eventually have an 0411 swap. I'm going to skip the red one on this one. I'm going to go to blue 40. So that's the EGR. It can be used for the wide band. Oh, that's cool. Actually, I never even noticed that. I'm going to put a pin in there later and log with that. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I'm going to skip to number 11 here on this red connector still. Red. And then uh, it's going to go to blue 42. Hut, hut. Let's see, dark green. Um, number 11, where you at? Yep, I see it. I think it's this one all right yep okay cool dark green blue 42 and then goes right yeah. sometimes they're they're a little hard to push in just kind of work them a little bit they're like this one's got like a piece of rubber or something in it it is not wanting to go in yeah, it's like a like this yellow membrane stuff. It kind of gets in the way sometimes. And sometimes you gotta push it on through like that, right there. And then it just went on through. Just make sure you don't break that wire off in there because you're gonna have to, re, to redo it here. And we're gonna pull it through. You can see it coming through right there. Push. It's just time consuming. Just take your time and you got it, man. Okay, so I ran into one. That was kind of a an oddball um right here on this one it says um sensor ground tps and uh, engine cold temperature sensor so it says blue 60 and 80 but i'm only pulling out one wire here you're gonna have to splice those wires together so what i did is from this when i got this uh red and blue connector i had to take apart um i had to deep it all so i'm just taking an extra here and since I know it's ground and I know ground is black on a, on a car, I'm really just going to go ahead and solder this right here. Like just kind of splice it together, solder it, and then uh, heat shrink it, and then boom, you're done. So yes, it does need to go to 60 and 80. So all I did was shove a pin in there, that extra one right there to 80, and I got that one to 60. And just go ahead and solder it together and uh, make sure it doesn't touch anything. I mean, I know it's a ground, but it's a... Um, sensor ground so it's kind of important all right so i got the uh got the blue connector done i'm gonna leave it open just in case i did miss anything which i don't think i i don't believe i did but you never know um i'm just gonna leave it open and then i'll tape it up later so we're gonna work on this red one now and then same thing just rinse and repeat pretty simple just time consuming i'm probably on Oh, it probably took me about 30, 45 minutes to do that right there. Just sitting here, just taking my time. This thing will not come off now. I'll just put it on there too. There we go. Um, and just press in like so. Come on, there we go. All right, put this to the side. And then we're gonna go down the list. Uh, starting with the red connector again. So we got a uh, red connector. Number seven is gonna go to red number nine. All right. So let's find a red one again. Somewhere down here. Clear. Let's see. Black. Red. Right. Hopefully it's red. Hopefully I marked it right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did. I always double check the colors too. Um, just making sure I pull out some. They had one of them on there that it didn't even exist in the harness and it wasn't even anything important. So I just didn't even worry about it. Uh, if you're not running rear O2s, don't worry about the rear O2s. They're actually highlighted in yellow is the like the emissions kind of stuff. Uh, I'm not saying you delete them or not, but if you don't need them, you know, for an off-road purpose, go ahead and uh, just ignore them. So I'm gonna put this blue one aside here. Try to. Okay, and said, okay, what did I say? Number um, number seven is gonna be a dark green and white. So that's pretty dark green and white to me. Get my pick. And then 
and untangle it and then put it in there okay so i got the uh new pc installed um it's not done i gotta clean up all that wiring but i really want to just test fire before i even clean that wiring up so got the battery hooked up i think the keys are actually in the car oh yeah i gotta wire up this wide band as well so we're gonna have to see if this thing starts now should fire right up. Uh, that works. And there it is. We're running on a 0411. Sweet. All right. Well, so it runs. Uh, I'm gonna button everything back up. Um, I'm gonna probably just tuck that in for now, and then I'll finish the wiring stuff later. I'm gonna clip all the little loose ends that we didn't use. Um, I'm going to make sure that my HP tuners actually hooks up to it via the uh, OBD port before I actually cut those. I'm going to clean all this up. I'm going to go for a drive. I'm going to start logging it and I'm going to start tuning on it. Okay, so uh, just wrapped it up. That's first. That's first. Uh, just wrapped it up. Uh, we're going to go uh, do some data logging now. Laptop up correctly. So, okay, there we go. Um, dialing the VE tables. Seems to be idling actually really good. I kind of nailed it on that one. Kind of shocked. <laughs> Usually it takes a couple tries. Uh, we're gonna go do some drivability stuff, and then we'll do the wide open bottle stuff last. So. Hey, didn't die. Uh, good deal. So yeah, let's uh. Some driving around, do some tuning, and then uh, wrap this thing up. All right, so pulled over. Um, just uh, doing an update on it. Boom. Just flashing it. Um, throttle response isn't there, but I think it'll come around once everything's dialed in. Um, it was definitely better on the uh, on the OBD the, the old old OBD2 computer, um, but again that that'll come around I think. Uh, this is way out of whack right now, so uh, we'll get it squared away. I think that last flash kind of fixed the throttle response on it, so it was kind of lean in some areas. Still a tad lean, like nothing crazy. to do is like especially in a six-speed drill real nice to have especially tuning the VE table you can because you can bog it really good and you can get in those spots that you kind of normally can't get to in an automatic and it'll uh, fill it all in the spots it seems to be running really good though good lights in it and this is just the uh, uh, math off tune like this isn't even in the the math's not even on right now another update still ve tuning uh it's getting better and better um you know the more you drive it uh, the better it'll get um but yeah i think this one will take just a couple of times on the ve stuff and then uh, we'll turn that math back on and uh, dial in the math i had him get a brand new math uh, a, a stock gm one uh Somebody put a, an aftermarket one on there that was plastic and it was actually a, a smaller housing too. So I know it didn't flow that well. Um, 
Let's fire this thing up again, start recording. Let it just catch up there. Oh, come on, buddy. There we go. Probably still got this work on the cold start and the regular start stuff. Yeah, I didn't like that. So I'll have to work on that stuff, I think. Just a tad bit. It's not bad, uh, but it definitely doesn't work, so. And then we'll start dialing in the spark and all that stuff as we're just driving along. But our tuning continues. Everything's looking good. All right, so it's a little later in the day here. I uh, figured out that the new math that he bought is bad out of the box. Um, what do you even read? Um, then I had another problem. The uh, water pump stopped working, which it's electric. So that was a bad deal. Uh, luckily, I caught it right here in the driveway. I had to rewire it. Um, other than that, I'm, I've just been messing with the... Uh, When, when the throttle comes, like when it when it comes off the throttle, it, it doesn't hang. So it actually it revs revs really good now. So um, going to uh, go tune this math now. It's on math only, so I got it working really good. Uh, gonna go data log it, and this is the final uh, iteration of it, really. And then just wide open throttle stuff, which that's easy. That's gonna I'm gonna put the wide band to it, so not a big deal. So gonna go driving around and. Uh, Dial in the math. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it a bath. Like it's, it's got bird shit all over it. I can't drop around for all the bird shit on it. Airflow back to 4,000 RPM. Uh, turning everything back to blended. Turning the long-term uh, long-term fuel trims back on, and the deceleration fuel cutoff. So we're gonna log out like that now. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna wire up this wide band that the customer uh, provided, and then we're gonna do some pulls with it and uh, dial in the wide open throttle. 